This is a very unusual two-storey detached villa on a 2,500 metre level plot, about five minutes drive from the town of Albox, with a couple of neighbours close by but far enough away and with fantastic open views all the way around. The plot has double entrance gates leading to a gravel driveway with plenty of parking. You've got a detached 24 metre garage there and gates which make the rear of the property completely private. The garden's been laid to gravel for easy maintenance with established trees and shrubs and mainly local plants that don't require a lot of water. If we come round to the side here you've got more garden continuing down to this side. The property's fenced from next door and then you can see it's gated and walled there leading to the rear. Stunning 360 degree views. Perfect for somebody who wants to be close to town but not too far from amenities, not to have too many neighbours. This is your garage, and there again, gated to keep the rear completely private. The security grills on all the windows and doors. The step then comes up to a door which leads into the kitchen. As you can see, very light and airy, completely open, very modern and contemporary and immaculate, a good size, fully fitted kitchen with an integrated dishwasher, marble worktops and its own separate utility room. Then you've got a breakfast bar here which divides the kitchen and the diner. You've got fly screens on most of the windows. Hot and cold air conditioning here in this lounge diner. At the end there a marble fireplace with gas fire. Now if we come round here to the left you've got an archway which takes you through to a small hallway and all the bedrooms and bathrooms come from here. Round to the right is the master bedroom. Again you'll see very light and airy and with high ceilings. You've got ceiling fans, hot and cold air conditioning in here. This looks out on the swimming pool and the views to the rear. An ensuite shower room with walk in shower. One of the guest bedrooms. More than a good sized double, nice and light with the ceiling fans. Second guest bedroom. Again, nice and light and more than a good size double. Then you have the family shower room. If we come back through the lounge and the diner and through to the kitchen area, there's a wrought iron staircase with wooden tread which leads to the upstairs. This is ideal as a fourth bedroom for when you've got extra guests or as an office, music, computer room. And this has a doorway with a fly screen leading out to a private roof terrace. From 
here you can see fantastic views all the way around and looking out over the pool area and the rear garden Coming back now down the stairs again. From the dining area, double doors lead out here to a covered porch. You've also got the front door here. This used to be a covered terrace to the rear, but the owners have had this glazed in, so it makes another enormous room for entertaining, with a dining area at one end and a seating area at the other. You've got louver blinds for when the sun's extremely hot. And in the winter, this room makes a vast difference to the temperature inside the house. The sun warms the sunroom, which in turn warms the house. Coming out then to the pool area, you've got an 8 by 4 swimming pool with a winter cover. And walls have been raised around the pool to make it completely private. And those fantastic views there of the mountains and the countryside. quite unique. Over there then in the corner is a storage room. If we come back this way, steps here lead down to the rear garden. The plot's completely fenced. And down here at the bottom there's areas laid out to gravel, again with established trees and shrubs and plants, established almond trees. This is quite low maintenance. The owners have built little walls to have little garden areas. There's a lot of scope to do lots of different things with this area if you wanted to. And you can see there the wall separating the front garden. And if we come round to this side, it's a large plot but not very difficult to maintain because of the way it's been laid out and what's been planted. And here again, completely open to the rear. got lots of little pathways, planted areas. There in front is the double gates that leads back out to the front rear of the garage.